welcome to my youtube channel please like comment and subscribe benefit for children and dependents as a worker in the maritime industry and covered by the LHWCA you can rest assured that your dependent children are entitled to benefits if you die on the job if you are the dependent child of a decades employer you representative can file your claim for benefits on your behalf if there is a widow or widowers receiving LHWCA this benefits any dependent children are entitled to one sixth of the average weekly wage of the deceased. If the widow or widower dies or remarries, any children will become will begin to receive compensation equal to one half of the decreased workers' average weekly wage. If there is more than one child. It receive an increase of one six, but the total compensation cannot exceed two third of the decreases of rate weekly weeks. If there is no living spouse and no living children's LHWCA benefits can be dispersed to other dependents. This could be sibling or grandchildren, but to receive benefits, they must satisfy the definition of dependent. In other words, they must have been financially, financially dependent upon the employer at the time of his or her death. And then next about a funeral expenses. Did benefit through the LHWCA also include coverage of funeral expenses up to three thousand billion, three thousand dollars to receive this benefit? You or your lawyer must complete and file from L is 265 with is a certification of funeral expenses to the OWCP. It is not very common, but in some rare cases, the LHWCA deeds benefit for funeral expenses may accept the set limits of 3000 Dollar. And the next about the duration of LHWCA did benefits. Benefit paid out to a spouse may be paid until his or her deaths or until he or she remarries. In the event of a remarriage, the OWCP pays out one final lump sum in the amount of two years worth of benefits for dependent children, grandchildren, or siblings the payment usually extend until their 18th birthdays this payment may continue until the age of 23 for any dependent attending colleagues or another type of academic institution a dependent with a mental or physical disability may also receive extended benefits. Feeling for deep benefits when grieving the loss of a loved one isn't easy. If you are faced with this situation, you can rely on the guidance of an experienced lawyer to get you through it. With a lawyer on your side, you can be sure you will get all of the benefits to which you and your children are entitled. 
and then alongside and harbor workers compensation is did benefits the longshore and harbor workers compensation x or l is wca provides benefits for you if you qualify under the law and are injured or become sick because of your work your dependents are also entitled to benefit through the LHWCA in the case that you die on the job did benefits are important in that they provide you loved ones with compensation if their work happens if they depend on your for your income and insurance this benefit can help when you are no longer there If you have a loved one who has died on the job and qualified as a worker under the LHWCA, you have one year after the death to file for benefits. You or your legal representation must complete for LS 262 and submit it to the Department of Labor Office of Workers Compensation Program or all or OWCP with that form you may need to submit documentation including a merit certificate birth certificates medical records and certification of funeral expenses And then next about widow or widower's benefit. If you are married, your benefits extend to your spouse in the event that you are killed on the job or an incident or exposure at work con contributes to your deeds. This benefit is awarded will be paid to the widow or widowers of a deceased worker forever or until a remarriage. The amount a widow or widowers receive is a equivalence to one's half of the workers every weekly weeks. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to give like, comment, and subscribe.